All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Hope everybody are doing fan freaking tastic today. I'm still floating around here. Last episode we uh, we did our our incredible carrot farm, and although I haven't seen your comments at the moment. Uh, uh, or at the, uh, this specific time because the video is due to go live in like an hour I'm very happy with this. I will say one thing though last night I was hanging out with some of the hermits. We were just like You know having a good old hangout and <laughs> Impulse was there and I decided I, I'd want to go and check out his base because I haven't seen his base this season yet He has like a mega incredibly mega monstrosity based carrot farm <laughs> So his is his is very cool uh, quick, but check this out guys. This is without AFK. I haven't been AFK more than maybe you know five minutes If you tab out of Minecraft you forget that you're on and this thing is absolutely Mental it's perfect for our for what we want it to do now Granted I would use these carrots for trading. I may want to make the carrot farm bigger, but we're gonna use this for food We're gonna make we're gonna make sure that uh, uh, We we get gold somehow and then this is going to be our future gold source, so, or, or, gold source? Food source. So I'm very, very, very happy with it, and, and, um, hopefully you guys, <laughs> hopefully you guys were as well in the comments. Uh, I got a big project in mind today, dudes. We are gonna have a lot of fun today, hopefully. Oh yeah, the slime farm has been producing as well, but here's a path to this, so one day we need to connect this all up, we need to make, like, a, a collector stream and have, like, a place where it all ends up. Uh, but like I said, we, we, we're we gonna jump into a big project here for today. We're gonna head over to the Guardian Farm, and before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys a clip that was recorded last night together with Cubfan, because we decided to uh, finish the Guardian Farm interior, like the collection area and stuff, and we decided to split the tasks, and I happen to know that Cubfan, uh, Cubfan's video is by now already out there on YouTube, um, and so, uh, if you haven't seen that, go check that out uh, first. I won't actually be spoiling too much of what he did, but we basically decided that he takes care of all the technicalities and I do the building. We have the opportunity to make something very mega with this place. Very mega. By the way, it looks so different from when I was last year. What have you built there, dude? <laughs> it's a giant box, man. It's a giant <laughs> it's box. A giant box. I, I love, how you, box. love how you used the Guardian box. <laughs> <laughs> the Guardian shoe box of Doom. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. I love how you use different Prismarine as well. <laughs> so, like, obviously when I walk into this, I'm just picturing, Take me to church, I'll worship like I know. You know, you know we sing. Like, it feels, it feels very grand, doesn't it? It feels very mega, like, Hallelujah. No? No, I mean, maybe you can make it that way. Maybe you can make it. Okay, well, maybe it's just my crazy mind. Maybe you just see this shoebox. But I see this epic, like, temple-ish, churches looking looking thing down here. So I, I've got some ideas. We've been discussing a little bit here. Um, yep. And we're probably... So basically, the task at hand is we got to make sure that we can collect all the loot and make this an AF cable farm because up till now like it's been so bad <laughs> we're just manual killing and just standing here and stuff um mm -hmm. but like we've been discussing of having a sorting mechanism that sorts out so there are four different drops by the way four different passive drops from guardians we should mention there are where did i put it Cup. it's over here prismarine crystals raw oh, yeah. cod Prismarine shards and ink, which is for some reason named dirt here. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> so this is go. the passive stuff you get, and then when a player kills it, you can also get the mini guardian, like the skulls, the puffer fish, and the salmons. Right. Yep. And so we've been discussing a little bit, and it would be so cool. Oh, and and tropical fish. And, oh, tropical very, fish very as well. Right. Yeah. Somewhere. Okay. One of these has it somewhere. Yeah, there but that's is. only yeah. player kill, right? Yep, that's only player kills. So what would look so cool is to have, since there are four passive drops, we would have four different tubes, on two on either side, mm -hmm. with those items sorted out and traveling up so that you can stand here in this, uh, sorry, shoebox. <laughs> Jeez, it's, so it's gonna be. Stinks. It's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. Exactly, yes. So Except all the shards are there. Or <laughs> I love how you puked that out. <laughs> 
Yeah, so you'd see the different items going up on either side. And then you had an idea, which I really like, about the Schalke boxes. Go on. So, yeah, the items go up up these glass tubes, up the item elevators here. And then back here, we can have them loaded into Schalke boxes uh, for uh, for ease of collection. And then we can have them, like, come out over here somewhere, maybe. I love it. All right, so let's have a look at what CubFam has done since. Oh, <laughs> there we go. So... Uh, we came up with this idea to have these bubble columns sending all the different items already sorted So you will see yeah, this is the shards being sent up here, and I can barely see what's being sent up there. Oh My goodness my frames my frames are dropping <laughs> What oh, yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm lagging a little bit here. I <laughs> I I have heard that redstone is not very well optimized in 113, so hopefully that's a, a fix. Because essentially, uh, Kaffa must have built like a sorter underneath and then built um, four dropper stacks, uh, elevators, and yeah. No, but we had this idea, and this is just perfect. He's very he's very much nailed it um, to where to how I wanted it to be. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, and then you're supposed to go in what? You can put item frames on the floor? I... how... how did I not know this? <laughs> That's awesome! Alright, anyway, you're supposed to go in here and, uh... Oh. You're supposed to go in here and kill the, uh, kill the guardians if you want to do the manual collecting. And the automatic, the afk -able collecting will just happen autom- I think we should lower our volume here, actually. Um, will just happen automatically because uh, the guardian for the guardians essentially cram, right? The guardians essentially cram. So so they die if you're just AFKing here, and you can you can kind of you can sort of watch the items go up. That's so cool. And then he made um, he made shulker box uh, loaders behind this so that everything is loaded into shulker boxes. And yeah, this is so perfect for me restocking our shop. Okay, so my vision for this is I want to turn it into something <clears throat> that looks extremely, extremely grand as you walk in. As far as function goes, we have to put up uh, the enchanter, uh, the enchantment table, and maybe we should work out approximately. Oh, but hey, this is actually even numbers because I was thinking this could be chilling right here, but I see that we are dealing with even numbers now, so that's not going to look great. Oh, that may be more challenging than I thought then. Uh, I want to use quite a bit of Prismarine, and I really don't fancy these ones, these guys here, these uh, turtle shell things. They're not really my style, I think they look pretty weird. Uh, instead, I'd like to use the other Prismarine, these guys here, uh, that changes colors. I don't think, I don't think these change colors, right? But these changes colors, and I think these look really cool, actually. I've been thinking about using them in a lot of... A lot of builds and also I'm pretty sure oh yeah we can do slabs we can do stairs even though we haven't got the recipe to have the stairs to make eight of them um, but we can we can use these new blocks and possibly also <clears throat> use the dark prismarine which in my opinion is the best prismarine block uh, but it's very expensive <laughs> it requires the ink so uh, the way I see this is you walk in, there's going to be a, a big open space. The focus point is going to be on these bubble columns. Because I just think these are so awesome. And I just love them. Uh, for visibility, I may even want to change the glass out here. For regular glass. And I know that sounds weird. Like, I never use this glass. But to be fair, this texture ain't too bad. And I think it just gives a little bit more visibility. Which is what we want here. Um... And to make the prismarine pop, we're gonna use a lot of other blocks. <laughs> so this is this is kind of the my my idea, right? Let's let's just scaffold something together. We're gonna use this as our main background block. We're gonna go and use andersite, polished andersite, stone bricks, um, possibly like cracked stone bricks, all the stairs that comes with it. I also brought some wood, and I'm not sure about this, but I got a feeling that like. Dark oak will look really good here. So if I would do something like this and wrap it in. Yeah, dark oak goes very well with this. It may not be what we want to do though because it is wood. And I may want to do this more like a gracious thing. Uh, Acacia obviously is going to work great because of the stone. 
So that may be a thing I want to use. Oh, that's just just the acacia. It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy to see acacia next to stone. Uh, okay, and then to the more weird stuff. Maybe we want to use some polished diorite for this. And please don't be weird about this, because, like, diorite is always going to be bird poop. But they did change the texture, and I don't think this texture is bad. I think this looks like marble if it's used correctly. So we may want to use that in the floor. I also brought all the quartz that I've collected, because I just have that feeling that quartz is going to be a great highlight color. Um, or like, for, for, for something, it's going to work out really well. The very first task I'm going to do here is to change out the turtle prismarine into this prismarine in these uh, bubble columns. And i got to be careful to not ruin any redstone, which I almost did there. Because <laughs> we are... <laughs> we are... We are actually dealing with water here, as always. But I think it's going to be worth getting the, the proper prismarine in these places. And look at me, I'm using my offhand. Huh? Are you, are you proud of me? I never use my offhand. Hmm, yeah, I do think that is better. Uh, I'm not completely sold on the stacking of sea lanterns in the background here, but for now I'll leave it and we'll see where, where, we, where we end up. I then want to actually not see this from the front. I don't like the fact that the glass is sticking out here, so we're going to try and go and add some of the, the grey or some of the highlights that we're talking about. Just for now, let's try start this with stone bricks. Uh, this does not look great, but it is a start to uh, making the bubble columns look look better. Although, I may want to go with quartz here. This may be that one part where quartz is actually going to look fantastic. Um, specifically, the, the pillars. I have spent a good hour at trying to figure out a style that I'm happy with. And it's not going too well. <laughs> this is not great either. I, I started up by making the whole thing out of quartz, but I think it looks a little bit... Oops. I think it looks a little bit uh, too bland. Yeah, very bland. I think I'm... I've always struggled to design anything using quartz. And <laughs> it's just not a... It's just not a block that I've ever managed to do anything nice with. I don't specifically like quartz. I think quartz is overrated. Does that make me weird? Because uh, everybody loves quartz. <laughs> I'm not a big fan, actually. I think, unfortunately, that I may have to go and do some collection of some blocks that may help me here. That I didn't think that I would use in a very long time, again. <laughs> but, I may have to go and collect some gravel and sand. And some bone meal. Okay, so I got together some sand and some gravel and all the bone meal that I've ever owned. And we're gonna say hello to an old friend that I promised. It will be a while till I use these books, but honestly, they are just so good. <laughs> the, 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 the concrete powder is, for me, a much better block than the concrete, uh, the, the hardened concrete. What? Look at, look at that, it goes well with diorite as well. Okay, I think I want to change out this quartz. That is, in my opinion, a hundred times better than the quartz. A hundred times better than the yellowish quartz. I'm going to try something here, though, using the quartz in a different way. Stairs? Oh, yes, we get eight stairs. Okay, nice. So using the quartz as a trim foreground to this white does look pretty okay. I mean... I'm probably spending way too much time on this one thing. But the thing is, when you build something in Minecraft, it doesn't matter how large it is. Once you get that style down, it's so much easier to just build the rest. Uh, if we do it this way, though, we're gonna... It's gonna be a very white build. Yeah, okay, it's time for me to go and collect another piece of material that I think can really help us. And, oh, wow, I mean... <laughs> my, my goodness, how many different blocks I've already used here. But like I said, it's time for me to go and collect a different type of material that I think can really use, uh, that, th that I think can really help us here. And I don't really know where to find it, but I will make an effort in finding it. <laughs> I'm talking, of course, about hardened clay. And I just want to, 
I just want to say, take a look at this place. You get through the portal. I've never been here. It says, welcome to the Hermitcraft community mining area. It was millions of miles away, but there's a bed here. There is like, obviously, hello, little dudes. <laughs> get out of here, dude. Uh, it just looks so mega and amazing. I love it. I love it. Unfortunately, though, to collect the clay is actually not that easy without a beacon. You only need a haste one beacon to collect this in a fast pace. I don't have that, so so it's going to take a little bit of time. And it looks like a lot of this has already been dug out. What I'm interested in is the uncolored one, hardened clay, or terracotta. I'll never get used to saying terracotta, by the way. I'm so sorry, but like, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys still say hardened clay? Or maybe you guys started playing Minecraft after they changed this, because this is quite a while ago, I guess. That scared the life out of me! Oh, I actually... Wow. I think he would have killed me if he wouldn't have got stuck in that cobweb. Holy crap. <laughs> I think it's more painful to dig something out that you know that you can insta-mine <laughs> with a beacon. I'm sitting here and all I can think is just, oh, what if I had a beacon, right? Does that make any sense? Anyway, I'm nearly done here. I filled up, well, not, not a full inventory, but quite close to a full inventory. And hopefully this is going to be enough. Now, I'm planning on dying this cyan. I think cyan hardened clay looks extremely good. And I think it's an underused block uh, because... In the past, before we got concrete and all of these new fancy blocks, cyan concrete was like the main block to use, at least for me, in a lot of builds, because it's just it's just a good it's just a good texture, really, just a good block. Uh, but to make it cyan, I'm gonna need some cactus. I happen to remember that Grian did say that I was free to take cactus when I was there visiting him. Okay to buy some cacti off you? He says, sure! <laughs> Is he gonna give me his axe? <laughs> Looks like you are being sick, brother. <laughs> Three diamonds. You can be a traveling uh, shop man. Or one day create a shop that sells cacti. Maybe in the shape of a giant cacti man? Who knows? <laughs> Thank you for your business. Okay, so he gave back two diamonds. That's really cheap. I'll, I'll happily take three stacks for a diamond. I don't think I used... Well, did I? I'm trying to think when I last used cyan terracotta or cyan hardened clay. <laughs> it's certainly been a while. But just take a look at that block. It is so good. It works with so many things. It is going to bring darkness to this place. Um, which I think is important because I don't want it to be completely white. <laughs> okay, so finally, guys, I think I am making a little bit of progress. Not so much in terms of blocks placed, but in terms of my brain. I got to be honest with you guys. Today, th this the, the plan that I had for this originally has completely changed a few uh, times, probably, <laughs> probably over five times. Uh, I, I, I woke up today and I had a pretty clear idea of what I wanted to do. I was very excited about it. I'm still excited about it because I think this is essentially, eventually going to turn out great. But the different things that I've tried hasn't really worked out. Uh, I didn't, I, I've, I've gone far and beyond to stay away from wood in this build. And that's simply because, like, I think wood will look absolutely fantastic. And I may go back to it. <laughs> See how my brain is? I don't want to take decisions, but I've, I've really worked to to try and stay away from, from adding wood to the build. I want to create something that doesn't have wood in it, but we'll see what happens. Um, So, uh, instead of struggling with this single corner, I started making this uh, the centerpiece here. And Stress actually came online for a second pair of eyes, and she helped me out a little bit with just, like, the colors and... Um, and she gave me the idea of just just work on something else for a second, and so I did, and that really really got me uh, got me happier again. So um, I do love the white concrete, and I love the cyan. So, so we got to we got to try and make that work. 
I will admit I have no idea where the last cutscene was in this video. Usually I'm pretty uh, pretty good at knowing uh, sort of what what I'm doing and when I'm doing things, but this day has just been a, a beautiful mess of uh, things going back and forth. But here we are and I got to say that I think this is coming along. One thing I will say though before you guys think it is yeah, we haven't used that much prismary, but listen. It freaking looks pretty good, I think. And there was a lot of things here, or there are a lot of things to build around and to make sure that we uh, that we sort of work out. The hardest part that I spend a lot of time on are these collection rooms here. Uh, they look absolutely terrible inside. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, they're they're kind of gross inside. Um, empty shulker boxes only. Okay, right, good. Uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of they're kind of gross. Cod blue. I don't know if I did that correctly. Did you know that you could place these upside down? Because I didn't. I didn't. But yeah, uh, anyway, the, 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 the collection rooms look absolutely rubbish. I don't like them. But they are kind of staff-only entrances. So it's only me and Cub that are allowed in here to collect the loot. And uh, they are functional, which is the important thing with them. Um, I also changed up the middle and... One sad thing, I would love to, like, have this exposed, because I think the the back tube there with the cyan clay looks a lot better than than having this. And maybe, actually, maybe that's not a terrible idea now that I see it. Maybe we could get away with having it like that instead. Hmm. Or maybe it's not actually better. <laughs> maybe it's actually prettier to have it like this, I'm not sure. Uh, I came up with one idea that I want to give a try here, though. Uh, it's kind of finishing up the walls. End rods. What if we do something like this? Because this little piece that I've designed here is just a, it's just a um, design thing. It doesn't actually serve a function. It doesn't need to be there. But I thought these, these things looks like crystal light pillars, which I really like. So I want to see that with end rods. Because I use end rods way too little. It's a beautiful block. Oh. <laughs> Wow, that looks pretty sweet. Does that not look good? I can't decide. I think it looks really good. Do I? <laughs> I'm confused. I'm confused. Anyway, originally I was planning on having a big archway in the middle here over. And now that I think about it, we may still want to do that. Uh, it could be quite impressive. But I, I think I want to install the floor first, because one thing that is still an issue for me with this is there's too much things to look at right now. There, It looks a little bit too messy, and I think once we clear up the floor, or clean up the floor, I think that would be be a little bit better. Um, and I'm not really sure what I want to do with the floor. The polished diorite, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it again. I think the polished diorite looks great. Okay, <laughs> I think it looks fantastic. Even stacked next to each other, it looks okay. It looks better when you don't do this and when you have like a pattern of some sort. But I think it looks okay. I want to try with white concrete powder first. And see if we can make just a very simple pattern. Does that does that make sense? That makes absolutely no sense because the white concrete powder has no frame. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, so what about the white concrete? It's better because it has a darker white. Still not good. Andersite is probably a given that it's going to look good. This even looked okay with the old polished diorite. But I don't think that's what we want to do here. Because we have this very clean look. The diorite, the polished diorite is already a little bit dirty. Um, we want to make sure that this looks like crystal and not a rock. And with this in, I think it looks more like a stone floor. Which, you know, I know, I understand it is a stone floor. But I'm trying to make it look special. Okay. Can we perhaps do something interesting with Prismarine? I, for one, I don't know if you guys are the same, but I, for one, do not like when you have floors that bumps you up and down. I really don't like this. I think it's a bad design um, if you have a floor like that. Uh, not criticizing this, because I know this was a, just a temporary test that Cub did, but uh, talking in general, like, when you have a finished floor and you bump up and down, there's nothing worse. <laughs> think about it. You run around in your own house and you're like, oops, I just bumped up and down. No, not a great feeling. Um, but this here doesn't bump you up and down. You step over it. And that looks pretty cool. <laughs> it looks also pretty weird. Pretty 
Guys, I have come up with the best idea. <laughs> we're gonna have a we're gonna have an aquarium in the floor. Yeah, we're gonna have it. Don't don't uh, don't give me that look now. <laughs> we're gonna have an aquarium in the floor. Think about it. A, a man-made aquarium using. Uh, ooh, do I have hate? Let's take this chest down. I actually spend some time cleaning up all the mess here. Uh, yeah, some sand. An actual aquarium, a little bit deeper than this, sand floor, kelp, some seaweed, maybe some corals, fish that we catch and put in here. And, I mean, either we could leave it open and make like a bridge in the center, or we could glass it. I was gonna glass it, but it kind of would be cool to have it open as well. Now, I'm gonna leave that part out of today's episode because I'm already, uh, probably, over time. I have to do some magic editing with this episode to even to even get it to, to a point where it's like under 30 minutes. But uh, it's something that I want your input on down below in the, in the comment section because I'm super excited to do it and I think it can look great. Uh, but I kind of want to see what you, what you guys uh, 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 say about it. We're gonna we're gonna continue with with instead of the doing the floor. I think I think it's gonna be great You can kind of see the shape here with these things. I think they look fantastic I did trade uh, some ink with green so I could make these into the prismarine the dark prismarine um Wow, that looks way better Way better that tone is just so much better with the diorite as well, but I would like to do uh, the ceiling next, the roof. This is going to be a big part of this as well, which I had a little bit of an idea. I have two different ideas. One idea would be to make a giant arch. And why did I pillar up with this? Okay, that's better. <laughs> One idea would be to make a giant arch uh, like this would go two, two, and two. And then... Oh, that's actually two one, yeah. So we'd have to do this. I, I suck at I, I suck at geometry, <laughs> if, if that's even what this is called. I suck at this thing, uh, making shapes and stuff is not my stronger side. But uh, yeah, get that piece. Yeah, a giant arch like that, and then on the other side too. It looks like two people holding something up. <laughs> uh, I can't stop seeing these things. I'm sorry. But okay, uh, two, uh, like a giant arch in the middle, we'll go with glass inside this, and, hmm, I'm usually not a big fan of just doing that, but I guess that could look good. Oops, you can't do that! I gotta say though, I think this is going to look absolutely, absolutely brilliant, if I can just work out what I would want to do with the rest of the roof. <laughs> but that is gonna look pretty sick. We're gonna be able to see things swimming up there Just the fact that minecraft now have fishes in in water makes me want to have or see the ocean as much as possible I think these windows looks amazing and check this out by the way. I was supposed to say this earlier. I Originally had this light blue color and then I changed started changing it out for this uh, Transparent glass color, which I do think look better uh, if you are going for transparency but mixing it up is actually creating a super interesting effect. I don't think it works great for this particular build, but it is, it is for sure creating a very interesting look where it kind of looks like the glass is frosted out or yeah, I I just I just fell in love with that and I've left it like that for now just so I can look at it. It's kind of weird. Okay, dudes. <laughs> I'm I'm not the greatest at shapes and stuff. <laughs> I've been sitting here for hours trying to work out how the ceiling is going to be, what it's going to look like. I even filled in the floor with sand just, just to get the colors corrected here, except for the granite and that. Um, and I just, I just can't get it to look correct. And I realized the reason I can't get it to look correct is because of the fact that in the behindings here, we have Cup Fans Redstone. Like, these things need to stay. These are the water channels. Uh, and so even if we have this and then remove all the ceiling, which is what I was planning on doing, and flooding it with water and, you know, getting that awesome effect, which, by the way, I have to show you guys this. From the top, it looks so incredible. Uh, this shoebox, the shoebox has got a hole in it. And just looking down here, I think... <laughs> Look at that! 
How cool is it that looking? I think that looks awesome. But uh, uh, anyway, even if we even if we do work that out, it's gonna be very. I don't know. I I'm, I keep going back and forth. I don't know if I can get it to look uh, good enough. Is what I'm saying. So. What I think we'll do instead, and this is a this is something that you can come on input, come with some input for, because I am so out of time on this video, it's ridiculous. Um, here, I think we will go. Oh no, what was I thinking here? <laughs> what was I thinking? Yeah, that's really cool. I do like that. That gives us uh, a, another like skylight or ocean light, I guess. <laughs> is that what we're gonna call it? Ocean light. I think that looks really good. And then the middle part, the big ceiling. I think I'm gonna have to take all of this down that I did. Uh, and instead go with my original idea for it. Which was, rather than using an arch, um, kind of make a circular hole in the center of this. I think that could look really cool. It, it would it would give us that extremely nice feeling of looking up in the, in the water. Um... You'd see things swimming by and stuff, and it would kind of be like we're in a we're in some kind of enclosed underwater base, which I just love that idea as well. I, I just love that feeling. Uh, but this certainly looks good. I do need to go behind this tube as well and do some some fixing. You can see there it's it's got the old background, which is bad. Um, but that's not a problem to make. Anyway, though, guys, I'm so sorry, but I am completely out of time for this video. <laughs> I've spent too much time. I think uh yeah, I, I'm not even sure. I, I think I've, I've, I've overspent so that I'm actually going to miss a Foolcraft episode that I was planning on doing. <laughs> but uh, we will see. I've had a lot of fun with this and I do want you guys' input again about the bottom aquarium that I want to install. Uh, and about the ceiling. And also, uh, hello, dude. They, they're like, hi, what is this? Uh, and also another big thing is the uh, entrance to this. Something I wasn't actually planning on doing today. But what are we going to make for the entrance? How are we going to enter the place? Now, this will all go away. It won't be looking like a big shoebox from... The, well, maybe it will look a little bit like a shoebox from the outside. But it doesn't really matter. But we still need some kind of entrance where we either swim down or some other way get to this place um, and end up inside here. So do let me know down below. I'm very excited to release in this episode. I'm very excited to hear your feedback on this. It's been a long day, but I think uh, overall I'm very, very happy with that with the results here hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you did uh hit the like button and if you uh, uh if you if you want to uh, consider subscribing as well if you're new uh, i said that very weirdly anyway have a fan fantastic evening and i will see you dudes in the next episode